creams, mayonnaises, emulsions. We use a whole repertoire of different lubricants and, 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 and emulsions to enrich dishes and to, to, to bring flavour. To guarantee that you make the best kind of mayonnaise, um, irrespective of which flavour you're, you're planning on making, is to have egg yolks or the soft boiled eggs at room temperature. Make sure that the seasoning goes in at the beginning and always make sure that you just add a little bit of either vinegar or lemon juice or something acidic at the beginning. This will also help, this will not only help the mayonnaise come together in a lovely rich thick emulsion, but also make sure that it's got some, some balance to the oil. Okay, so here, if you want to make a, a sort of a Caesar kind of cream, effectively we need a little bit of garlic, some anchovies, just bits of parmesan, splash of vinegar, splash of water. There we have fantastic cream. Rich, smooth, delicious. A Caesar star cream. To stop mayonnaise from splitting or breaking, you have to just understand that the process that is taking place is that you have egg yolks, which is protein on one side, and oil, which is the fat on the other side, and they're physically having to come together, and come together and link into one homogenous emulsion, which is the mayonnaise. That emulsion will break if you either try and get those things to link together too quickly, or if you try and add too much oil, and eventually there's just no protein left to link together with it, and it'll fall apart. So make sure that you start off with your eggs at room temperature, that is certainly going to help. Um, a little bit of water or make, make sure you've got some kind of liquid in there at the start. This tablespoon of additional water also helps to secure the process and if at some point a catastrophe does happen and the mayonnaise does curdle and it'll be very obvious when that does happen. You get a fresh bowl, put a tablespoon of boiling water in there and very gently whisk the curdled, split, broken, whatever you want to call it, the mayonnaise onto that hot water it should come back together into another emulsion. So it's always rescuable, but it's better to try and avoid it in the first place. So in here we're gonna make a lovely herb mayonnaise, a few egg yolks. Mustard. Splash of vinegar. Splash of water. Salt. Blend. In terms of which oils to use for a mayonnaise, it very much depends on what you're trying to do, but neutral oils make the best mayonnaise. Make the emulsion, add the herbs, any soft herbs in there, chervil, chives, parsley, basil, tarragon, all the soft herbs are absolutely lovely. If you're trying to make a, a herb mayonnaise or something where you just want to have natural flavors of the herbs come through. You don't want any strong oil flavors in the background. Best to use a neutral oil and add another flavor rather than try and add flavored oils. Lovely herb mayonnaise. It's almost limitless what you can add. And it very much depends on what flavors you enjoy. Some work slightly better than others. Um, but just remember, if you're adding um, a very strong flavour. You might have to lift the quantity of mustard and other seasonings just to just to help keep the whole mayonnaise balanced. There are hundreds of classical mayonnaise-based uh, sauces. That is the joy of these preparations. That actually, get your blender on, get your eggs in there, get a little bit of vinegar, get some oil on the standby, and just 
try all sorts of things, whether it's olives, whether it's herbs, whether it's anchovies, whether it's parmesan, whether it's garlic, whether it's saffron. Play around, that's, what, that's what's exciting about lemonade.